British music is dotted with loads of what ifs. You know, what if this had made it? What, how come that didn't make it? You know, you know what, what if Sid Barrett hadn't disappeared, gone, disappeared into acid? You know, where, where would that have ended up? You know, what, what about that little proto scene that was around before punk? You know, what about those post punk bands that, that nobody ever writes about? You know, what about those bands in the mid 80s? The scene that we were in, the little underground scene, which is getting a little bit of media love these days. But there's, there's always kind of like these weird little cul-de-sacs, these things that could have happened but didn't, you know. And that, it's one of those, it's forgotten. It's a completely forgotten scene. Nobody ever refers to it now. Everyone's completely forgotten about it. I mean, when you mentioned the documentary, it was a case of, wow, I hadn't thought about that for ages, and I really love those bands. But there's so much stuff, you do tend to forget things up. But the thing is, by shining a light back on it, it gives another generation a chance to go back into it. So I think the bands have got a future, but it's not a future they were ever planning in the first place.